Hello, so we are back and this time we have a Lenovo to repair. i5, a nice laptop, decent laptop. Now, the problem with this one, not coming on and it's coming from a local repair shop. Let me plug a charger. Plug in the charger and it's taking no current at all. Pressing the power button and nothing. Doing nothing. Let's open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. And the laptop, it's open. That's a nice motherboard. I mean, the motherboard has a seal. No one uh, took the board out. Not sure what is here. But let's unplug the battery. And let's check the main power rail first. Can this be a easy pizza? Hopefully. Hopefully it's a easy pizza. So, main power rail. Uh, MOSFETs, capacitors, and the main power is not shorted. Capacitor, the main power is not shorted. No, no. Now let's plug the battery back and let's check the voltage on the main power. Rail. So the voltage on the main power rail is 0 0.3. Okay, let's plug a charger. And it's okay, it's fine. It's taking no current. And the voltage is zero. Zero volts on the main power rail. Okay, let's come with the power supply. The battery has 7.6, 8 point something. Let's push some current into the battery. The battery, yeah, check that, 1.8 amps. And it's charging. We have 6.7 on the other side, so the battery is very, very discharged. Okay, so we charge the battery a little bit. Still not taking any current. So the main power rail is 6.4. Very discharged battery. But the problem is, why the laptop is not charging? Hmm? That's my question. So the main power is not shorted. We have to find our input uh, power input circuit. Yeah, we have to find the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, the power management chip, and probably does the power management chip. Let's have a look. Yeah, does the power management chip, the BQ chip. Now let's see what voltages do we have here. Here we have eight point five. And that's not fine. Now, let me explain you how this BK chip is working. In order for the power management chip to be always under the power, uh, it's using a double diode. You can see double diode. And it's taking the voltage from one side from the battery, 6.3, and from the other side from the main power rail, 8.8. Uh, okay, okay, sorry, my power supply. Okay, let's go to 19. Now it's fine. So now we have 18. And like I, I said, here is from the battery. Here is from the main power, uh, from the charging port. So the, the BQ chip has the voltage, but still not doing the job. So we really have to find the first and the second MOSFET. In order to find uh, these components, probably we have to take the motherboard out. No, I can't see anything on this side of the of the board. The charging port is good because we have 19 volts on the BQ chip. No, it's not here. We have to take the board out. We have no choice. Uh, BIOS battery. Do you think it can be a BIOS issue? You know what? I found actually, yeah, no RAM memory. Uh, I found on the past a frozen BIOS actually to stop the power, get uh, into the laptop. 
somehow acting uh, because the the power management chip is speaking with the EC chip. Let me short the BIOS battery. The BIOS battery is shorted. Plugging back the BIOS battery. Plugging back this battery. And still, it's taking no power, nothing. The fan is spinning. Yeah. The fan is spinning probably because we reset the BIOS. And the laptop probably it will come on. Uh, okay, that's fine. That's okay. Let's take the board out because we really have to reach uh, the first and the second MOSFET. Yeah, everything is out, right? Yeah, it must be. We have that cable, the screen uh, cable. The board is untouched. Check here. Huh? Like brand new. So, I'm thinking the first and the second MOSFET has to be here. Check the first and the second MOSFET. Let's leave the laptop on one side and let's focus on, uh, on the input circuit. Okay, so I plug the charger and let's check a few things. So the voltage is coming here, yeah? And we have 19. We have two inductors, then here is the first MOSFET. Then on the output of the first MOSFET, which is zero volts, is coming to the second MOSFET, then the current sensor, then from here we have our main power rail. But at the output of the, sec of the first MOSFET, we have zero volts. And we have zero volts because on the gate, we have zero volts, you can see. Now, where the gate is connected? To the BQ power management chip, exactly. So, uh, nothing. Okay, let's check something together. I will switch to the beeping mode. Because it can be a reason why the BQ chip is not uh, outputting voltage to the MOSFET gate. Like the second MOSFET being shorted. Check the Check on the screen. 11 ohms. So the BQ chip has a particularity, MOSFET short circuit detection. So it's detecting a MOSFET is shorted and it will cut the power exactly on the first MOSFET. That's, uh, that's how the BQ chip is working, the power management chip. Yeah, 11 ohms, the MOSFET is shorted. Yeah, I will say, let's quickly replace that MOSFET. What MOSFET it is? Uh, we can check the gates if they are, the gates are together. We have this gate with this gate. Yeah, it's a channel and MOSFET. Let's remove the MOSFET. And the MOSFET is removed. Now, I get the question on my videos. Okay, sorry, but from where we, are, from where we can get MOSFETs? I mean, you can get a MOSFET from anywhere. Like, check here, we have a motherboard for spares. And we can get a MOSFET, basically, like any MOSFET. Yeah, let's remove a MOSFET. And we got a MOSFET. Now pay attention on the MOSFET position. And it has to be like that. Good. Let's solder the MOSFET. And the MOSFET is soldered on place. Perfect. Let me cool down the board. Just a little bit, then we can check. Now, if I will plug the charger again. Yeah, 
plug in the charger. Check on the screen, the current, the current, check the 30 milliamps. But just ignore the current at the moment. Let's check the voltage. So one more time, at the input, we have 19.3. At the output of the first MOSFET, we have 19.3. Then the power is coming to the second MOSFET. And at the output of the second MOSFET, we have 19.3. Then it's coming to the current sensor, passing the current sensor, and from here, we have our main power rail. That's the input circuit. And you won't believe it, but most of the laptops, uh, here is the problem, because the input circuit, uh, you know, is carrying a lot of currents. It's uh, basically the interface between the laptop board and the charger. A lot of pressure on the on the input circuit. Okay, the foil is back, and you will ask, sorry, but you think uh, the board it will charge? And that's a good question. Let me bring the laptop back. How we can check the charging? Very simple. You just plug the battery. Plug in the battery, and you can see the current. We have like 200 milliamps. And now it switched to 1.2 amps. So the battery is charging fine. Now just give me a few moments to put the motherboard back so we can test it. Okay, everything is back in place. Let's plug the battery. Let's plug the charger. Charger is plugged in. And we have the pre-charge current, now the charging current. Let's check if the laptop is working, pressing the power button and the current going to zero. Why the current goes to zero? Oh, we reset the BIOS. Yeah, we reset the BIOS. 1.3 amps. Pressing the power button. is going to zero because the battery is very discharged or what? Why is switching off? Okay, the battery is charging fine, but let's push the charging. Let's charge the battery very quickly. 1.8 amps, let's raise the current to 3 amps, just to see if the laptop is working. Battery voltage is 7.5 and it's going up. Okay, let's try one more time. We push some current into the battery, switching to 19, perfect. Plug in the charger. And of course, it's charging, pressing the power button. And it's taking like 2.2 amps, check there. 2.3 amps. And now it's fine. Yeah, that was the reason why it was uh, switching off. And we have picture. It's working and it's loading the windows. Perfect. And also it's taking like over 2 amps. This is a miracle. Check here. This laptop is working without RAM memory. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the RAM memory is on the other side. It's onboard RAM. It's taking like 3 amps and uh, everything seems to be fine. Okay, so hopefully you learn how to diagnose the, the power input circuit. Now, if the first MOSFET are good and they are not shorted, and still the voltage is not passing over the first MOSFET, then you should focus your attention uh, around the BQ chip. Can get faulty? Yes, a lot of times I found the power management chip being faulty. 
on the BK chip, you seen we check the voltage. So that double diode, they have that small double diode. One voltage is coming from the battery, one from the charging port. And the power management chip always has power on it. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop now. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our uh, members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products. United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.